In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all consolation. He comforts us in all our afflictions, and thus enables us to come for those who are in trouble with the same consolation we have received from him. I bless the cremains of H.J. with the holy water that recalls his baptism of which St. Paul writes. All of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. By baptism into his death we were buried together with him so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father we too might live a new life. For if we have been united with him by likeness to his death so shall we be united with him by likeness to his resurrection. Let us pray. Lord God, Almighty Father, our faith testifies that your Son died for us and rose to life again. May our brother H.J. share in this mystery as he has gone to his rest believing in Jesus. May he come through him into the joy of the resurrection. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And together we say the prayer that Jesus himself taught us for the happy repose of his soul. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy kingdom. Thy will be done. Give us this day and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those and lead us not but deliver us. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in God and faith in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. Otherwise, how could I have told you that I was going to prepare a place for you? I am indeed going to prepare a place for you, and then one day I shall come back and take you with me, so that where I am, you also may be. You know the way that leads where I go. Lord said, Thomas, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except you. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not die. is my soul. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Only goodness and kindness will follow me all the days of my life, and I shall come to dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. With faith in Jesus Christ, we reverently receive the remains of H.J. for burial. O God, whose own son was once laid to rest in a sepulchre, bless, we pray, this too. And grant that he whose remains are now to be buried here may come to dwell with Christ in his eternal kingdom. Only in God is my soul at rest. From him comes my salvation. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, by the three days you lay in the tomb, you made holy the graves of all who believe in you. And even though their bodies lie in the earth, they trust that they, like you, will rise again. Give H.J. peaceful rest in this tomb until that day we knew the resurrection and the life will raise him up in glory. Then may he see the light of your presence, Lord Jesus, in the kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God, whose own son wept at the death of Lazarus' his friend, comfort us in our sorrow. Let us pray, Almighty God, through the death of your son on the cross, you have overcome death for us. Through his burial and resurrection from the dead, you have made the tomb a holy place and restored to us eternal life. We pray for those who died believing in Jesus and are buried with him in the hope of rising again. God of the living and the dead, may those who faithfully believed in you on earth praise you now forever in the joy of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Since Almighty God has called H.J. from this life to himself, we now commit his remains to the earth from which they were made. That Christ was the first to rise from the dead, and we know he will raise our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. Lord Jesus, our Redeemer, you willingly gave yourself up to death so that all people might be saved and pass from death into a new life. Listen to our prayers. Look at love on your people who mourn and pray for HJ. Lord Jesus, you alone are holy and compassionate. By dying, you open the gates of life for those who believe in you. Do not let him be parted from you, but by your glorious power, Give him light, joy, peace, and happiness in heaven where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God, our consoling Father, we have gathered here today in prayer to invoke your goodness upon our departed loved one and seek for ourselves your strength to carry on. 
We pray you dry our tears with your words of faith and let us behold the vision of our own eternal banquet table where one day united again with H.J. we may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Finally, we say three Hail Marys to the Mother of Jesus for the happy repose of the soul of H.J. and all who are buried in this tomb. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among them. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall world without end. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. Let perpetual life. May they rest in peace. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Just like to say a few words that as Christians and believers, Jesus has told us in the scriptures that he was going away from the disciples to his father's house to prepare a room for all of us and that one day he will come back and call each one of us to that room so long as we remain faithful to him while we're here on earth. We're here today not to mourn the past sin of H.J. We're here to celebrate his life. We are here to celebrate a life serving God, you, his family, and his country. And in a few moments, we will have military honors. I would say to you as Christians and believers, as you depart from here today, please do not say to him goodbye. Just say to him, till we meet again in that room in our Heavenly Father's home. And I understand from a member of the family that the first one to greet him at the gates of heaven will be his mother, who spent three years every morning going to church at St. Alphonsus while he was overseas in the Second World War, that he would return safely. Her wish was granted, and he lived to the age of 89. So we're here to celebrate, not to mourn. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Now we have the military honours. Two battalions of Marines first assembled at Tun Tavern in 1775. Since then, the name United States Marine is synonymous with the world's most elite fighting force. 238 years later, this institution still wins our nation's battles. When a young man or woman earns the title of United States Marine, it is not worn on their collar or their sleeve, but it is imprinted in the deepest depths of their soul. Our bond is so strong that we say, once a Marine, always a Marine. Today we are gathered to honor a father, a grandfather, a loved one, a dear friend, and our brother in arms. During World War II with the Fighting Fourth Division, field musician First Class Shelley and his brothers successfully invaded the islands of Roanamur, Saipan, Tinian, and Iwo Jima. Admiral Nimitz said, uncommon valor was a common virtue. A phrase that is so famous, it is engraved in the Iwo Jima monument in our nation's capital. Our colors today of scarlet and gold are displayed in the flowers. Our motto of Semper Fidelis, meaning always faithful, lies in the banner. And the playing of taps significantly will come directly from field musician First Class Shelley's cornet that he carried with him in Camp Maui and during those four successful invasions. It is its first assignment since the end of the war. And now, 
It is with great honor that we send PFC Shelley to his final post. As we know, God only entrusts his streets to be guarded by United States Marines. Tone! Ah, High folders! Poof! He's in Poof! On Earth! Poof! Ah, uh, just. Sergeant Dixon, fire the volley.
honor. Courage. Commitment. of the United States, the Commandant of the Marine Corps, and a grateful nation, please accept this flag as a token of appreciation for the honorable and faithful service of your father, Private First Class Henry Shelley, to our country and to our Corps. God bless you and Semper Fidelis.